songs. Aya earlier mentioned no we'd songs, heard none. Yeah. none of it. A number of songs no by songs, Windrith. None. But there's one song by Windrith and also not by Windrith that we haven't heard yet. This is by her alternate persona, Kvetch the Uncivil. <laughs> you forgot about that, didn't you? Never. First I've heard of it. Oh, yeah. She, she writes as Kvetch when she's either very angry or being funny. Okay. Usually both. Or both, okay. yeah. Both is good. I always like Why? Are there so many songs about dead guys? All of the really good tunes are all about dead men with holes in their bodies from arrows and axes and spoons. Spoons! Verses abound about hacked mangled bodies and blood spilled about on the ground. For some morose reason, we find these things pleasing. The mortis connection we found. <laughs> There's millions of epics about bloody duels that span ages ancient and new. And too many dirges for heroes and chieftains and outlaws and poor suckers, too. Year after year, we listen and learn them and add nad brand new verses as well. But what's wrong with giving an ear to the living? The mortis connection it sells. So if you'd be immortalized, remembered for ages, in tune or in song or in story, forget noble deeds and acts while you're living. Just make sure that your end is gory. If you are stabbed, impaled, flayed, drawn, or quartered, disemboweled, gutted, boiled into stew, your name will live on long after you're gone. The mortis connection and you, all of us singing the praise of your end as long as it's tragic. Why are there so many songs about dead guys? All of the really good tunes are all about dead men with holes in their bodies from axes and maces and spoons. Spoon! Verses abound about hack mangled bodies and blood spilled about on the ground. For some morose reason, we find these things pleasing. The mortis connection we found.